Hello, welcome to your about. I am in Frankfurt for the biggest bike show in the world. And I hear there's new bits from Classified and TRP. We're going to wander over there now, check out what they've got going on. Because let's just say these guys are taking on Shimano and SRAM. And I suppose a little bit of Campag. Let's check it out. Yourself, sir, and your job title. Yeah, my name is Yannick Meyer. I am product manager at Classified. So, yeah, in charge of uh, the magic that we introduced today. It is magic as well, isn't it? Right, explain. Why have you entered the market first? At Classified, um, we believe that uh, uh, front derailleurs suck. So, that was the first thought um, behind our. Is that, is that uh, the slogan? Product. Classified front derailleurs suck. <laughs> You may as, want to, as well want to use that, yeah. Um, no, it's just not an ideal way of like derailing the chain um, to change gears. So this is why we put it into the hub. Um, and it also comes with a, a lot more benefits, um, like the instant power shift. Yeah. Um, and now, with what we got here, um, we can even uh, integrate it in a, in a group set. Right, explain, because you're selling it as a 16-speed group set, aren't you? How does that one work? So we have a 12-speed cassette um, and the two gears from the hub. So yeah, you so might... surely that should be 24, or is my maths wrong? Your math is not entirely wrong, but slightly off. So um, we have uh, yeah the hub gears um, and the cassette gears, but there is an overlap. So also with the traditional two by system, you don't get 24 unique gears. So. The combination of a big chain ring and uh, a certain part of the cassette and a small chain ring and a certain part of the cassette would eventually end up at the same gear ratio. So in terms of unique gears, a traditional 2 by system also does not have the 24. We do neither, but um, we get 16 unique gears, whereas the most other 2 by systems only get like 14 and have the downside of carrying a front derailleur. Indeed, indeed. Right, so, oh, so obviously, does this mean the weight? There's going to be a bit of weight difference. The weight difference um, is not that big of a deal for us. Um, for us, it's the efficiency gains that yeah. you can get from it. So removing the front derailleur gives you the aero gains of like having a sleek front setup, um, of having a very efficient uh, planetary gear system in the rear hub, and then with the quantum shift that we get to later, um, you have the 16 unique gears in the most seamless um, way possible. Okay, shiftings from the leaves, of the course, seems very, well, natural. Yes, indeed. So this is what um, yeah we've been asked to do is like, hey, when are you going to integrate in a group set? And now with TRP's entry into the market and our collaboration, we're finally able to uh, shift the hop from the left shifter um, in a manual mode or you activate what I just mentioned, quantum shift. Um, so you can just use the right shifter and like shift through all the gears um, and that uh, gives you the 16 gears because you shift and before you reach a certain cross chaining the hub does an auto shift okay. and the derailleur does a correctional shift so changing or switching to the next to the next closest ratio um, and so only shifting like with the right hand gives you 16 gears 15 times shifting uh, and 15 steps yeah right so it's like eight, eight. The brain, its brain basically allows it to choose the gears that you want with the internal hub without, so you've got a perfect chain line at all time. Exactly, and the hub changes gears uh, at a certain, at a set point, um, which is the most close, um, yeah, the close extension ratio, right. of, that, of that ratio that you've previously been in. Right, can you override that though? Yes, the left lever does not lose its functionality. You can always like use it as a bailout. Yeah. Um, in terms, you hit a, uh, a steep ramp, um, you can always like do a downshift at the hub, or in case you need to 
follow your buddy who's just attacking and you need to upshift uh, really fast, um, then you can still do that with the shifter. Right, price-wise for the whole package, what's it going to be? Do we know yet? There's not a uh, set price yet. Um, we will get closer to a public um, availability and public launch towards the end of the year. Um, but um, for the time being, the uh, power shift system can be uh, purchased immediately. Yeah. Um, just the combination with the TLP group set still needs to be uh, priced and uh, communicated. And the old, you've got the old, uh, well, you've been around quite a few years now. Yeah. So will it be backward compatible with your older products? Yes, so the PowerShift hub remains unchanged with all the features and benefits that we offer. Um, yeah, you can still pair it with a Shimano group set, with a SRAM group set, with a Campagnolo group set. We offer 11, 12, 13 speed cassettes for it, so it's unchanged. The only thing that is the major uh, thing for us now is um, the integration with TRP on, and the quantum shift. Yeah. So these two um, really big uh, upgrades um, are now possible with that uh, new group set. A lot to take in there, a lot to take in there. So there we are, quantum yeah. shift, nothing to do with Marvel superheroes. New group set from TRP and classified, it's all very exciting. I've had a little play on it, so let's find out what I think. Get me, found a quiet corner with your old bike. Right, let's delve into what I think about this new classified TRP group set because let's be honest, it's pretty damn interesting, pretty damn exciting that somebody is entering the market trying to take a, a chunk out of Shimano and SRAM. SRAM, whatever you want to call it. And I'm impressed. For first go, they're doing a good job. Sure, it's not as snappy as either SRAM or Shimano in the shifting stakes, but it works pretty damn well. At first, I was like, no, mm, oh, this is pretty damn bad. It felt clunky, it felt chunky. But I realised that was me not playing ball with that quantum shift and really trying to shift normally. I was smashing the gears about, pressing the buttons up and down as quickly as possible, trying to get it confused. And well, I did kind of get it confused. I was trying to override that quantum shift, I wasn't letting it do its magic. When I shifted up a couple of gears and I noticed it was shifting back down again, I was like, no, 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 I want it up there. But no, I wasn't letting it shift down two on the cassette and then change the internal gearing in the hub. I was wanting it to do what every other group set does and, and listen to where I want it on the cassette. So I do think it is going to have a bit of a learning curve to it. The second time I jumped on it, later on in the show and thought right go easy there if you don't need to smash them gears about because realistically you wouldn't do that out in the real world would you and it shifted a lot better a lot smoother and that quantum shift does work as for comfort wise i really did like the shifter shape the blade shape no problem there it's very intuitive in the shifting very similar to shimano but as somebody who's not a massive fan of shimano shifting or at least finding the buttons on the Shimano shifting di2 system this is a lot better the buttons are a lot bigger and in the wet you're going to be able to not miss shift i'm guessing which is a good thing because this is a group set that i think could be getting a lot of abuse out in the wet in the mud because it's ideal for gravel riding isn't it yet yeah, it's not as refined as shimano Joe race or shram red axis yet yeah but give it time. I am gonna try and get me grubby mitts on a finished product closer to the release date in September, I think it is. I'm sure they will have refined it a little bit more by then. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're watching on YouTube, of course. If not, shoot us a message via the social media sites. And as always, thanks for watching and enjoy your riding.